Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at an updated Telegram wallet tracker. We're going to be checking out Star Wallet version 2. Now this is a multi-chain read-only solution that provides you lightning quick access to your crypto portfolio. It's fully integrated into Telegram and it's as simple as pasting in your wallet address. Now I've used version one of the star wallet which had some great features now v2 takes those features and upgrades them across the board they've added support for additional evm chains as well as solana which is huge the team spent a lot of time testing and fine-tuning version 2 eliminating any previous quirks from v1 and streamlining everything in v2 it's faster it's cleaner it's simpler and it's very intuitive to use now, if you're like me, you spend a lot of time on Telegram, way more time than I'd like to admit. But whether I'm in a crypto community, I'm in a call chat, gearing up for a launch, anything, everything crypto related, it just seems to be in Telegram. Crypto never sleeps and neither does TG. Now, besides the permissionless access, which is read only, what really makes this tracker shine is the TG access. This is a bot run directly through Telegram and you can check your wallets anytime without jumping out of TG. You don't need to load additional apps, bring up your MetaMask, your Rabi, your Phantom wallet, and it looks great on mobile and also on desktop. This allows you to track your wallets basically from anywhere on any device that has Telegram access. Now first, let's check out the website, then we'll jump in, take a look at the bot on Telegram, and we'll look at the desktop version and also take a look at mobile. Now you'll notice here the website's very clean. This also works great on both desktop and mobile as well. A lot of attention to detail across the board by the team on this project, which by the way, the team behind the Star Wallet is Sloth and the team from the All Stars Projects Telegram community. I'm gonna add a link to their TG in the description of this video. Let's take a look at some of the features. Now this is a multi-chain asset tracker. Right now they have support for Ethereum, for Binance Smart Chain, for Polygon Matic, for Solana, again, which I think is huge, Avalanche, and for Arbitrum. Now I'm on all these chains, um, but also on Solana, which chain issues aside, I think a lot more people are now on multi-chains. They're on more than one EVM chain and a lot are moving to the non-EVM chains like Solana. So I really love the addition to Solana in V2 of this tractor. So again, very clean website, straight to the point. I like this a lot. Let's just scroll down and take a look. Everything now in one place, it's secure, right? So this platform prioritizes your privacy. It's read only, you're pasting in your wallet, multi-chain support like we talked about. It's very intuitive, which you're gonna see. It is fast and then feature rich, right? They've added some key features that you want in a portfolio and you'll see that when we jump in to the bot. Just scrolling down through, you can see there's some information on the community. You can click here to join the Telegram uh, bot, some testimonials from community members, which is nice. And then they have a really well thought out FAQ. And again, we're, they're highlighting the, the part, how simple this is to use. You open the app and you paste in any wallet address. Again, it's read only. It doesn't have to be your own address. It can be any address, right? and it's pulling constantly the accurate data from the blockchain it puts it all together in an easy view format for you here's a little overview why did they make it some of the background and again highlighting how easy it is the security of it and all of this is in one place you can check this out on your own but right now let's jump in to tg and take a look at the star wallet I'm in Telegram on my desktop and we're in the Star Wallet bot channel. So to get started, all we're gonna do is click down here on open wallet. Now you can see as it first loads up, we don't have any wallets um, added. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and click add wallet. We'll give it a name. Let's just say test one. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in a wallet that I already had copied. We'll add wallet, we'll let it load up and then we'll take a look. So as you can see, my tokens in my portfolio have now been loaded across these chains. You can see we have Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Matic, AVAX, and Arbitrum. Very smooth and this nice simple interface. 
other couple features that you can see right away, you'll notice that the gas token has been highlighted here. So here there's a box around ETH, BSC, Matic, AVAX, etc. I can scroll down through, I can see my assets. I can also sort them in four different ways. So I can sort by the symbol. If I want to go alphabetical by symbol, I can go by market cap. What's the overall market cap? The liquidity of the asset. And then I can also sort by balance. Personally, I like to sort by balance. Some other cool things that we can come down here. Now, some of these other tokens I bought at different times, I don't have a lot left in my wallet. Maybe I don't want to track them. I can come down here and I can go ahead and hide those assets. So now you can see I'm only showing my BNB, my USDC. If I want to hide this stack token, I click hide. It's over here under the hidden assets. At any time, I can go ahead and click on hide. And notice how easy and simple this is. They'll pop up in my active portfolio over here. You also have a separate category for some of your inactive tokens and tokens that can't be traded. This is a really nice feature. Now, particularly on the tokens that can't be traded, let's scroll down. Whether you bought them, it was a scam, they got airdropped into your wallet, who knows, but there's a lot of info that's available. So let's go ahead, we'll click on info for this token. You can see there's not enough data for the chart, but I, when I click on holders, you can see the holders. And then in the audit, you can see right away, this is a honeypot. So probably why there's not a lot of movement on the chart. This is clearly a scam token, which again is why it's showing up here in the can't be traded section. So it's good to see that you have that in your wallet, but you can sort that away from your main portfolio. A lot of flexibility here, uh, determining how you wanna sort. Another cool feature is when you determine I wanna sort by balance, which is my preference. When I go chain to chain, it saves that preference, right? So this is a pretty cool feature. Now we haven't talked about the Solana. Obviously Solana is not an EVM compatible chain. So you have to go ahead and add your Solana wallet separate. I'm gonna go grab a Solana address and we'll add that and take a look. All right, I'm back. I've copied my Solana address. I'm gonna go ahead and click add. Let's call this test soul one. I'm gonna paste in my address. We'll go ahead and click add. The tokens are loading. And then we're gonna get all those same features, but now we're over on Solana. So you can see again, it kept my preference uh, to sort by balance. I can switch to liquidity, to market cap. You'll see how it, Ray and USDC just jumped right there. I'm not holding a lot of USDC. Again, why I like sorting by balance. I can click in, get some info on the token. Another feature that I didn't really mention, you get this snapshot of the charts, right? So you can see the daily, the hourly, you can see the minutes. You also get your six hour, your 24 hour, and then your seven day, what are the percentages are, and then at the top, what the current price is. You can again see the holders, the trades, my trades, I don't have anything that's showing up here. Um, but you, you do notice one thing on Solana, at least for this particular token, you don't have the audit function over here on Solana. So let's click at some of these other tokens. Let's take a look at USDC. Again, charts, the holders. Probably taking a lot longer to load on Sol. Let's jump out of this. Now what's cool is I can come back over here to AVAX, to ARB, to Matic, and then our test wallet one is there waiting for us. So again, this is just, it's very simple, it's very quick, very intuitive, easy for you to inside Telegram, get a look at your portfolio. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna load an additional EVM compatible address, an additional Sol address, and I'll just show you how you can jump back and forth between them, and then how you can go ahead and remove them if that's something that you wanna do. I'm back over, I've loaded uh, two EVM addresses and then two Solana addresses. And I'm just gonna show you this quick. This is the task two address that I've loaded. Again, you can see the different tokens here over on Ethereum. You can jump over to BSC. All the same features, no matter which wallet you put in. Now let's say I wanna switch back to the test one, which was the one that we originally created. I click here and I can very quickly, seamlessly change wallets. So if you have multiple wallets that you're tracking, you can add them in here um, and just switch back and forth between them. Now let's jump back over to Solana. You can see now I have test sold two. This was the second Solana wallet that I added. I can go down here, scroll through my assets, take a look at the info, all the information that I want. 
If I want to sort by symbol, market cap, liquidity, and again, my preferred way is balance. But if I want to jump back over to my other sole wallet, all I have to do is click and then bam, we're right back there. So very seamlessly moving back and forth between the different wallets, a great way uh, to look at your portfolio. I highly suggest you get in here, test it out yourself. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump to my phone and just quickly show you some footage of how it looks on mobile because it looks very clean, very smooth, designed for mobile, works well on both mobile and desktop. But we'll jump over and take a look at that footage. Footage, excuse me. One final thing while we're over here on desktop still, if you wanna remove these wallets, just click at the top, delete, yes, delete, yes, delete, yes, delete, yes. Then you'll notice we're back to square one with no wallets. It's as easy as that. All right, one other feature I wanna point out before we take a look at mobile is you can see I'm back over on the starwallet.me website. However, uh, because I've been in the Telegram and I've got the bot running, I can move this window outside of TG and I can keep it on my desktop. So I could be looking at the news, I could be um, you know, taking a look at YouTube, I can be multitasking and doing other things on my desktop and still have access to the TG bot and all my assets. Another cool feature on the desktop version of the Star Wallet. I'm gonna finish off the video and let you enjoy the footage of the Star Wallet on mobile. I'm Jay Vanquish and I hope you've enjoyed this video.